to Taipei in Taiwan. Yes, I've left Singapore. I will update you on life stuff in a future video, but for today, we are going to be going exploring the streets of this amazing city. Let's go and explore. I must admit, there's more scooters on the road than I thought there would be. As you can see, they are literally everywhere. As you'll see as we are walking around, there's just so much to capture a hustle and bustle of a city. So right now we're in Bangkar Park and as you can see, it seems to be a, a hot spot for locals just to come and hang out. So we are starting today's exploring at Long Shang Temple. Before we go into the temple, I thought we'd have a look around the gardens see here we've got a dragon fountain love the sound of water Just so relaxing What I will say is when crossing the road, even if the green man is on, always look around you because <laughs> scooters and cars can come from anywhere. I have to also say that the temperature is absolutely perfect for exploring. Walking around with t-shirt and shorts, and it's about 74 degrees Fahrenheit. As you can see here, this guy's killing it. Level 72. Oh, liver and smells delicious. I think I've just walked into a bit of a seedy area. Just noticed a few strip bars and there's karaoke or something going on around here. Yes, it's uh, 2 pm and I've just been asked for sex if I want sex twice now. Definitely <laughs> a more seedier area of the city. Yeah, that was a little bit intimidating walking around there. There were women stood next to the bikes. Obviously going to whisk you off to, uh, yeah, do the deed. Some interesting little alleyways. I'm not sure I'd want to be walking down here at night time. So yes, tourist market. Interesting place. I was actually reading the other day that there are a lot of barber shops and tea houses that are not really barber shops or tea houses, but actually prostitution houses. And you can normally tell because the tea house or the barber shop will have like a black film over the window because obviously there's stuff going on inside that shouldn't be going on. But the reason why it looks like a tea shop or a barber shop is so that obviously the authorities don't notice it is a prostitution house. At least that's what I understand. I wanted to get away from the hustle and bustle, so I've walked to this natural park. You can hear the birds chirping. With regard to the locals, I've not really had a lot of engagement with them at the moment, but the few people that I have have been very friendly and welcoming, which is always good. So I understand that this is the Samsu River, if I've pronounced it correctly. My first impressions of Taipei are very positive, and I've loved exploring the streets. There's a lot of hustle and bustle. It's about 2.65 million people living in the city alone. And it's a really interesting place to explore. The language barrier is definitely a big barrier. Some people speak English, but very few. But I actually love that. I love the challenge of navigating my way around the city with a language. A lot of the signs are Chinese, but you do find some of them in touristy areas do have the translation to English. 
and I've just really enjoyed exploring the streets. I'm loving, I'm thriving in this city if I'm being completely honest. For day to day cost of living, I would say that accommodation is very expensive. For my little studio apartment, it's cost me £530 for two weeks. So you're talking over a thousand pound for a month. It's in a great location though. It's literally slap bang in the center of Taipei. Great location. Just literally walk out of the apartment and straight into the city and getting around is so easy. Lots of walking that I've done over the last couple of days. Day to day though, I would say that the cost of living is pretty decent. You know, you can eat street food, little dishes for like one pound, one pound fifty, spicy beef noodles for about two pound. So the cost of living just getting around, accommodation, expensive, public transport and food, very affordable. The city is a little bit of a concrete jungle, but that's what I like about it, I think. It's a weird thing to say, but it's just something about this city that I love. Anyway, let's head back into the city and do some more street exploring. So you can see here there's a gateway into the riverfront area and we're going to go through that soon and go explore some more streets. Interesting shop here selling baskets and lots of other items. I just love capturing street life. Absolutely love it. So much to look at. Lots of 7-Elevens here as well, so you can always pick up your convenience goods. So you can see the uh, tourist market as they call it, but it seems to be mainly locals. Lots of food places. So we're now at a market area. Great way to finish the day exploring. Let's see what's going on down here. Loads of little stalls on the path selling trinkets and jewellery and clothing yeah I thought it was food at first but it doesn't look to be that way yeah, mainly items for sale clothing bric-a-brac got McDonald's teddy there wallets ornaments now they call it a tourist market but it's all locals just buying items just saw the biggest queue for the pornographic calendars. <laughs> yeah. Well, explorers, I'm going to leave the video here for today. I hope you've enjoyed this tour around this really interesting and amazing city. I'm here for 10 more days and I'm going to be doing lots of exploring. So get ready for videos. Can't wait. See you soon.